the advisor for the South Asian languages and literature, and I also was the curriculum development officer in Brand. That was the first time in Brand somebody had an opportunity or was appointed for Asian issues, the Asian literature, Asian uh, language. And at that time, I was given such a freedom, I can't believe that all these things were done, so much so that the languages, Gujarati and Urdu, they were introduced up to GCSE level. The name Gujarati Sahitya Academy came later on. We are celebrating 40 years now, this year and next year. But before that, it was Gujarati um, Sahitya Association. Gujarati Sahitya Mandal. We did so many activities at that time. In the beginning, um, we used to invite eminent writers from Gujarat, from India. And uh, we had seminars, big seminars, um, in, uh, in Leicester, in Birmingham, and uh, then poetry meet, and uh, prose meet. All these things were happening with the Gujarati Literary Academy. The uh, Academy's motto is uh, read Gujarati, write Gujarati, uh, learn Gujarati, and live Gujarati. So because the, uh, its motto is to keep the language, literature, and culture of Gujarati alive in this country. And uh, we do a lot of work um, like uh, before they used to have a conference practically every other year uh, when they were younger members. Now, you know, the older generation, it takes a lot out of us to organize a conference, but Vipul Kalyani is the, the, the heart behind the whole academy. And uh, with his leadership, everybody gets enthused to do things. Daddy. 